So it's 18.31 p.m. Yep, that time of year, that parallel universe. It is currently the civil war between Jupiter and Uranus for the Battle of Cool Whip. Pumpkin pie flavor, too. Yeah, that kind of shit. So anyway, happy Frisky Fetish Friday, everybody. Do what you do. Get your freak flag on. Fly that shit proudly. Go have fun. And also, this snow I got is so white, it's fucking racist. I hate it. It's more racist than white rice. And that says a lot. So, anyway. I got a TV show, and I got a movie to run off. So, we got double feature. The Punisher, seasons one and two. And The Black Cauldron from 1985. And Punisher ran from 2017 to 2019. So... I finished season two of Punisher 2019 because I, I binged these shits so quickly when they came out back then. Now I'm just like, it takes too long. <laughs> uh, so I finished it and man, super intricate and layered like never before. Absolutely. Like this show is very, it's more brutal than the other uh, Netflix adaptations they did. And this one follows, uh, obviously, Frank's origin story and Jigsaw and then him helping out Amy Bendix as well. Um, I was not expecting it to be so broken down and exciting at the same time. I was not. I did not expect that shit. That's a huge plus for me. Like, I like when shit is broken down and you get the psychological aspects of it. You get the action you get the character evolutions and all the other jazz in between. Another plus is Giorgio Wiggum looks exactly like my Amy. Yeah, she does. Pretty cool shit. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I love how it ended as sort of, as sort of a series finale, but I'm hoping for season three. Four years later. No, five years later now. No fucking season three. <sighs> so we'll see. <laughs> Now to await Jessica Jones season three, whenever that's going to drop. What a badass season two for The Punisher. Absolutely loved it. Like, Punisher, it's so good. And everybody's torn on this because there are three versions of Punisher. Well, four, actually. There, well, actually, there's a lot more than that. There's five total. Yeah. There's... John's version, there's Thomas Jane's version, there's Ray Stevenson's version, there's the comics, and there's the anime version. Yeah. So you have all them versions to fuck with, and each one's unique in its own right. Comics, everybody's going to go for comics because they grew up with the Punisher. Others, like me, I will go with Thomas Jane because you know that's my favorite rendition of him. Wow, you know, Ray Stevenson's... Is I guess underrated, but definitely feels more, eh, in a way. That's just how I feel about that, because I wish it had been more, but it sucks. And the way ow, the studio decided not to follow Thomas Jane's idea, because what he wanted to do was go forward with the character. He wanted to do more. And they're like, eh, we don't need to do that. <sighs> But this series does give more depth to Frank. And John really did take the ball and ran with it and did good. I like his rend his rendition too. But I love Thomas Jane because I grew up with him the most. So, but yeah, this series, very fucking good. Vastly underrated. Doesn't get enough love or credit, honestly. Um... And for me, Marvel is Marvel. I don't give a fuck about apartheid labels. Y'all through them. You follow what the company says. That's so sad. So, and Black Cauldron, I watched that. When the hell did I watch that? Oh, six years ago. That was a good movie. <laughs> it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be, though. Because everybody was, because I watched a few bits that said it was going to be, um, it's like dark, it's super dark Disney and. It was um, so terrifying and shit. It's not even that dark. But I did love the surprise Easter egg for Esmeralda. That was pretty cool. That made me happy. 8 out of 10 for that. But between the two of these, which is best? I would say the best one is... Because I like animation, so it's easy to go with 80s animation. Because that's so... It's so basic. 
compared to today's hyper detailing and shit and it's all 2d that was fun because it was just all hand drawn then still is to this day for the most part depending on who you watch and who you follow but i'll go with punisher because that had more depth black cauldron's more of a write-off story it's just a one deal set up where it's punishers two seasons worth of story and you have all these amazing characters a great cast a great layout and a great home for it albeit it didn't get enough credit as it should have so but you don't like them fuck it don't watch them if you do great check them out see if you want to enjoy them again but if you've never seen anything disney or marvel try it see if it's good for you see what works for you it's the best part about it you can choose what you want choose your own adventure story <laughs> So, I will be back when the hell ever. So, until next time, like and subscribe with thoughts and prayers.